See, what I like to do, especially when I'm in the house all by myself, is I like to let her speak to me. I like to let her speak to me. And she tells me what I need to do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put trim across at that counter line. It's gonna be lovely. The house speaks to me and I listen. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 21 of This Old Shack. My name is Azalea, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. This is Heathcliff, the fixer-upper kitty. He came with the house. So, y'all, I am so happy to be in this house by myself this morning. So I had an art show this weekend, the Hill City Handmade. It's a maker's market. I had a booth. I was selling my paintings, my book that I wrote. If you don't know about the book, Memoir of Millennial Motherhood, check it out in links below. Yes. So I am a member of the community here in Lynchburg, Virginia. And I live my life, you know, doing the fixer upper having my ideas, being creative, being an artist and an activist on all these internet platforms and in my mind and in my family life, you know, I kind of live within my own bubble. I have created my own world that I live in. But every now and again, I need to anchor myself into the community. And that's one of the main reasons that I have started doing things like art shows, makers markets again um so that i don't fly off into the space of my own mind but stay anchored in my community so anyway that went all right um but yeah that took a lot of energy and time and i love working here at this old shack in the fixer upper and coming here each day um as part of my routine and it just feels good. It just feels I have a good little day here by myself. I've also had the contractor um, working on the porch out here. Um, <laughs> so I haven't been coming in and working as much and I haven't had a quiet solitude kind of day over here in a while it feels like. It had not been that long, but it feels like a long time. Oh my God, y'all, this cat. Look at this pretty kitty. Look at this pretty kitty. Oh my gosh, a boo 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 a uh, Yeah, I just want to get in this house and fix on it. I just want to get in this house and fix on it.
Ain't that nice? The bedroom is primed. That's lovely. I'll go around these window frames, put like a little coat on some little spots, that kind of stuff. They tape all over this paneling. Oh, and I peeled it off. I peeled off the tape. I just gotta go back over these spots. Lord. Um, yeah, so that's primed. Yay. Doing some polishing in this room, getting it going. So we're coming along. We are coming along in this bedroom. It's right much better. All right, so this is how I do things. I painted the ceiling first. So when I'm painting the ceiling, if I get something on the trim, it don't matter. I don't have to tape it off. If I drop something on the floor in this room, it doesn't matter. This is painted brown wood. This wood is painted brown covered with a thick old layer of brown paint. I'm gonna paint these floors, not brown. Um, I love a white floor, but with children, that's not realistic. Um, so maybe a light gray, maybe a blue, maybe a checker, who even knows? Um, so, yes. So I paint the ceiling first, then I don't have to worry about taping the trim. Then I paint the trim, then I paint the walls, then I'll paint the floor last. So it doesn't matter if I'm dropping paint on the way down, I'm just gonna paint over it. So I have got this whole room primed. I'm going over it again and it looks 10 times better. So the second time you go over the primer of this dark paneling, it's so much faster and so much easier and looks 10 times better. So this first coat was definitely the most laborious. And then the next coat's like, Lordy, you're looking good with just one swipe. This room about to look fantastic. Y'all don't really see because the speed on these videos, you know, I do time lapse and everything. But y'all, primer is awesome. Primer has primed this for the second coat of primer. It goes on so smooth, so fast, 10 times faster than the first coat went on. Loving it. Welcome to another day here at this old shack. I got good news today. We've got ladders. Yay! We got a big old ladder and we got an A-frame ladder. We got ladders. So this is just a lovely blessing. Um, you know, 
I talked yesterday about being a part of a community and that's why I was doing art shows. Um, you know, for the past handful of years, I've been working as an art, as a yoga teacher here in town, but, um, you know, with COVID and everything, I got out of teaching yoga, but one of the yoga teachers here locally, um, has gifted us these ladders for our work here. And I'm just so, 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 so thankful and appreciative and I know just how lucky we are. So we are just super, super lucky to be a part of a great supportive community and I hope I can really, you know, pay this forward. All right, now that I've celebrated our ladders, I am gonna finish up in this room, do some tiny little touch-up things and finish the second coat of priming just in this corner, which is all that is left for second coat. See, it's real streaky over here, unlike over here, it's more smoother. The first little thing I'm gonna do in this bedroom, so I'm kind of wrapping up this phase in this room, then I'm gonna go to another room. So wrapping up this phase of having her ready for her final paint coats when that comes. So someone has paint drew on the paneling with like a marker, like a child maybe drew with a marker or something, and it just keeps coming, bleeding through that primer. So I've been using standard regular primer on these walls. Now I'm gonna roll back to my Kills paint primer because not only does it kill mold and fungus and everything, it blocks stains. So it doesn't bleed through the Kills the way it's bleeding through this white primer, so. Get some of this. And you know, even with kills, it might take two coats. But let's go ahead and get a coat on there. So that's gonna be our primer. We're gonna try and do something about this red spot. That's the first little tiny thing I had to do to wrap up this phase of work in this room. So Tom, this is gonna be your and Z's room. How's it coming along? Great. This is gonna be my room. You know, I actually would make for a nice gallery. Thing mm -hmm. like art gallery. Set my art over there on the shelves. Mm -hmm. Do you like the closet? Yes, it's the cleanest part of the house. Well, it's the most finished part of the house. I'm gonna get a light right here and a switch. Ah, right, perfect. Just put that on, do some drawing. Perfect amount of space for a desk. <laughs> you silly goose. I just want a studio. All right, there were a couple of dark spots here and here that kept bleeding through the primer. So I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of the kills. There we go. Moving on. So if you watched last episode, you watched my partner, John, pull down the bathroom ceiling, which is so great. It's given us some more head space in here. So, it needs right much of a woman's touch in here. Maybe this is the next, next place to go. Well, there's some cleaning, obviously, that needs to be done in here. Now, look at this. So this, this is that weird kind of plasticky, sealed kind of board. I'm gonna guess. So like, this is fine. I was always thinking to cover, I, I like wallpaper. Anyway, uh, but this, does not go to where our new ceiling is. So our ceiling's up here now. So we're missing this much of this stuff. So that would take a heck of a trim piece to go around here or bring all these boards down. I think we're gonna bring these boards down. Let's start 
more in here a little easier. So what we gonna do in here is from the tub, an additional spigot that goes up like this to make a little shower. And we can frost this out. And so we're gonna have a shower curtain that will run around. And of course you can also use it as a bathtub. And then, so we got the shower curtain, we're gonna frost this glass. We definitely don't need curtains or these nasty blinds from whatever the heck the house was doing before we got her. Poor thing, she's glad we're here. Um, yeah, so the hardware and different things need to be moved and trashed here. And more cleanup from where the ceiling came down. See this? This maroon color. <laughs> it's some paint someone put on here. It's actually going to be beautiful once I get the paint off because it's the sweet aqua blue. So, y'all, this aqua blue, I mean, that really rings my bell. I mean, that rings my bell. So, all this paint has to be peeled off. See, at the bottom, it's come off over on that side. So you can see that sweet aqua blue down there. Okay, these little plastic tiles are either gonna, I mean, I could pull them up and see what we got under here, but I don't think it's gonna be good. We gonna need tile or something in here. If it was beautiful wood floors, we could just like clear coat it. Anyway, all this paint needs to come off of the beautiful aqua blue. These panels probably just need to come down. And then we got hardware and plumbing, ceiling to deal with. Why are you stuck in here? Oh, you got a third thing, don't you? Are you screwed into this thing? Okay. One last thing. afternoon now and I'm back over here because I got a little free time and I just can't stay away from this house. So I wrapped up this phase of work upstairs um, and did a little something in the bathroom earlier today. Now I'm coming back down here because it is time to start doing something with these walls on this main floor. It's time to it's time to come downstairs. So, some furniture is going to go right here. This wall is in fine condition all the way up to the top. And there's even like some quarter round, like some trim along the ceiling. So, there's trim, there's wall. We just need to take down this metal framework. And this ceiling is going to need some repair if uh, not totally replaced. But this wall is going to be fine. So I can repair it 
holes in it and I can smooth it and I can prime it. That is something that could be done. Mm-hmm. Let's see about that. So I'm assuming they have some kitchen cabinets up in here. And there's where it went glue where they had the cabinets glued in. All right, so I'm scraping up to this counter line here. And there's glue on this wall, kind of up to that counter line all around here. So like I could scrape the whole wall. That doesn't sound fun. Or I could put a chair rail. Piece of trim that I probably got over here to do this corner. Not everything has to match. I put a chair rail, and then over here is going to be countertop, stove, and so it'll be a different color here. And I don't need a chair rail over here because it'll be countertop and stove. That is the line. The same line would continue across, and then this top part of the wall can be one color, and the bottom part can be another. That's a thought. What I like to do, especially when I'm in the house all by myself, is I like to let her speak to me. I like to let her speak to me. And she tells me what I need to do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put trim across at that counter line. It's gonna be lovely. Paul speaks to me and I listen. Or maybe, uh, let me start with some caulking. Got this gun out. I'm gonna I'm gonna just fill myself a whole lot of holes and cracks all over the place.
one tube down. I'm gonna need a lot more for this old house. All right, so that's gonna call it for this evening. I'm starting to lose my light. It's getting a little dim. But, uh, you know, I constructed a plan over here. After all this dries, this little corner is going to be ready for some primer. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to seal up the tip of that thing. Might as well use a whole tube when you got it open. Um, yeah. Yeah, so when I come back next time, I got exciting kitchen things and downstairs things going on now. I like it. Moving all around. Um, it's really good mentally to um, switch locations, mix it up. Um, it's like fresh and exciting, you know? You don't get burnt out if you switch activities, switch locations, I love it. Love you guys, see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.